When you think value in car audio, scar audio has to come up because they have really good prices. An example today is this SDR 18 inch subwoofer, which is still on sale, which is amazing to me at 127 bucks. So check the link in the video description if you want to pick one of these up. Let's get on to more of the specs. This subwoofer is rated 600 watts RMS, has a 2.5 inch solid copper or pure copper voice coil, dual 2M impedance in the woofer we're going to look at today. Some of the TS specs include 24 hertz FS, 13.5 millimeter one-way X-Max, and 87.3 dB sensitivity. They also have a version of this SDR 18-inch subwoofer with an enclosure included. Make sure you check the link in the video description for the Amazon link, and if you buy one of these or buy anything else on Amazon, it helps me, and I do appreciate that. The box is 4.75 cubic feet, which is kind of large, but it's needed for an 18. But the wood thickness is 5 8 inch. It is double baffle in the front, but that is something to, to notice. Tuning frequency according to this is 29 hertz. And again, the woofer is available separately for $127 at the time of the video, or you can get the box for $212, which adding both together would save you quite a bit of money. Now, I purchased this for the purpose of this video, so that doesn't really matter in the bigger scheme of things because if people send me stuff, it doesn't matter. I'm still going to tell you what I think, but I just, fully disclosure here, I did purchase this to show you guys what I thought about it. So let's take it out of the box and see what's up. When I figured out that the subwoofer was actually shipped inside the enclosure, I was concerned that there might be some damage in shipping or transit or whatever, but it appears it's fine. No problems at all. See the SCAR Audio logo, logo there? You can see the slot port on the right side of the box. We look on the left side, you'll see the push speaker terminal here. It is a dual 2 ohm 18 inch sub wired in parallel for 1 ohm. And those accept around 8 gauge at the terminals. It may be difficult to visualize how large the subwoofer is, but I am 6 foot 4. Here's a 10 inch subwoofer to compare the size difference. And if you've never seen an 18 inch woofer in person, they are massive. And this picture here probably shows it the best. The best thing I like though is the box is not super heavy, and we'll show you why in a little bit. Dimensions of the box, 21 inches by 25 inches, and then the back is slanted around 20 inches to about 24 inches. Now let's hook it up and find out, do it bump? Let's try a little bass, I love you too. about the woofer test. Do some big whizzy base of Halloween. Using the SMD IMSG Plus, I found the tuning frequency of the box to be 26.8 hertz. Lab test and watching woofers flex is fun, but let's try it in the Sequoia to find out how much SPL we can get with this single 18 subwoofer. 
Here's the camera in the back catching the back action. So let's close the trunk and get up here and see what's going on. Here's the RP1200, the MM1, the old school cat bank. So I did a test sweep using the Tone Gen Pro app here. And I found out just sweeping through that 47 Hertz is my tuning frequency here in the vehicle. So that's what we're going to use for the test. Again, those of you who see this on the phone, this is not just an app. It is a SPL meter that is Bluetooth into the device here. So that's how we're getting these measurements. You can't just use an app on your phone and do this. So just so you know. All right, we have Tone Gen set up for 47 Hertz. Again, we're connected to the SSA meter. I've got the camera in the back so we can see the woofer flex. Let's see what we get. Here we go, about half volume. All right, friends, there's gonna be a loud boom coming through either your speakers or your headphones, so get ready for it. One thirty-five point five four, pretty good. And according to the SMD AMM one, two hundred and twenty-five watts. I don't know about that point two ohms though. <laughs> All right, let's pump up the volume. Try it again. Here we go, 47 hertz. Another loud boom coming your way, so get ready for it. Just a warning. <laughs> let's go see how much power it did. 898 watts, 2.4. So just for the heck of it, and just because it was the easiest thing for me to get to, decided to hook up this BP um, Slayer 3K from Bully Performance, and I uh, decided to run it on the SCAR Audio box. And yes, there are some frilly wires here. I'm so sorry for those of you who can't stand this. Um, just deal with it. This is not a Mickey Mouse program! We have the Bully Performance 3K. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna get about half volume or so. See what we get. Single 18 SCAR audio, here we go. Get ready for the instantaneous sound of extreme bass in your ears. Here it comes, get ready. There you go. 1,949 watts. All right, guys, it's hot out here. You can maybe see I'm sweating, maybe not. Ear protection a must. Um, yeah, we're just gonna full send it one more time. I'll be done with this. All right, hopefully don't blow the scar because I do want to try it in my home theater. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just for video, let's record the woofer flexing, of course. Let's do the full send here. See how much SPLage we can get. Are you ready? All right, here we go. Once again, my friends, a warning. Loud sounds are coming to your ears. Get ready, here they are. Looks like 143.21. 23.5. watts. Here are all the results of all the SPL tests I did in the vehicle. Got up to 143.21. Make sure you stick around to the very end of the video. I try it with the driver's side window down. We'll see how it does. Let's just have some fun watching the woofer flex.
Now we'll talk about the pros and cons, things I like and what I think could be better, at least things to be aware of. First off, the pros, the value, amazing. The sub comes installed in the box. You only have to put any screws in there. Plug and play. Plug it into your amp and be ready to go. Efficiency was good. Doesn't need a whole lot of power. Deep bass. Easy to obtain. Check out my link in the video description if you want to pick one up. You can get the sub with or without the box. I would recommend getting the box. Not too heavy. You can move it around. It's not too bad. Things that could be better. It does need a large vehicle. It does use 5 8 inch MDF with a dual front baffle. Has a single one ohm terminal instead of two connections, so it limits your connections to your amp. Has a stamp steel basket, a small magnet, and a limited power handling. But again, that's some of the things you deal with with a subwoofer like this that's actually very cost effective. It's actually really impressive for what it is. Here's a size comparison to the quad box to give you an idea. I did actually order a second one of these. We're gonna try it out in the vehicle, and then I'm gonna try it out in the home theater and see how it works there. We also may try to see how much power it takes to blow the sub. I don't know, you guys like to see that type of stuff. Let me know in the comments below what you like me like to see me do with two of these subs in the vehicle first, maybe some SBL testing, maybe some home theater stuff. All that sound fun, sounds good to me. You know where Big D is, till next time. I'm out of here. All right, so I lied. I said that last one was the last test in the car, but um, I actually just rolled my driver's window down just to see if we can get closer to that 150. What do you think? I don't know. Let's try it out. Here we go. Warning, warning, your last warning. You're having loud sounds coming to your ears. Get ready, here it comes right now. Boom, boom, boom. Driver's window down. 144.52. Single 18, SCAR audio, 300 bucks. Crazy. You gotta have them sound waves go. Mm -hmm. Tried to lose my phone. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs>